All right, leaving Publix, heading back toward Canton, my normal route. All right, a little hesitant after it made the turn, but that's fine. All right. <laughs> I went ahead and put on the turn signal while I was beside that truck instead of passing him first. Um, not exactly how I would do that, but... Uh All right, so actually on this direction it must know that the road is closed because it's... Uh actually taking me on this detour. So that's interesting. Coming the other way, it obviously didn't. All right. So somehow it knew that it couldn't go that way even before it got to it, so that's odd. All right, so good job here. And uh, it should just keep going. It shouldn't stop. So, oh, slow down. Speed limit is only 35. Um, it thinks it's 45, so it tried to put me up to 50 miles per hour. So it's probably going to get into the right lane, or try to, right here. Um, yeah. So I have to cancel that because that lane, as you can see, there are these uh, pylons here. That lane forces you into the school parking lot. Um, all the signs are very clear about, you know, that you can't stay in that lane. Um, I just remove this. Um, they need to stay in the second lane if you're continuing up the hill. Um, but obviously the car doesn't read signs. Um, so I, ha I have a feeling that's going to be a problem spot until the car can actually read plain English signs and not just basic speed limit signs. All right, so what it does here is it doesn't plan ahead. Obviously, it says the lane ends, merge left, arrows showing that it's ending, um, but it's going to wait until the last second right here and then follow the line, whip across the yellow line on the left, and center itself. It does that every single time, um, and it's because it doesn't plan ahead and, and then 
has to whip over at the last second. Alright, so that is, I think, an improvement. I'm not going to say, say for sure until I get through this light. So, yeah, before it would always put me in the left lane, and that would actually take you on a different road right there, um, thinking that it needed to be in the left lane to make this left. Um, so... Yeah, so this morning and this time, it actually put me into the right lane, which is correct. So I think that might actually be fixed. All right, not sure why it stopped three car lengths away from the line. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why it stopped that far back and then just creeped through the red light. Um, that was kind of odd. So this is one of those roads where um, the speed limit is 25 and I actually like to go right at 25. Um, it's narrow and okay it did a good job there, I'm hitting the accelerator uh, to tell it to go. But yeah the road is it's narrow and um, pedestrians and pets are, you know, I, I've come through here and had a, a kid riding his um, bike down one of these hills, these side roads, and just fly out into the road in front of me. And, uh, yeah, I, there are some places where you just don't want to go as fast as technically is legal. Um, nope. Wow, it went way too far ahead there, probably because I couldn't see, but yeah, that was total fail. Um, that was way, way too far ahead and was not going to make that turn. Um, it also did not slow as much as I would have. Um, so I hit the brake and turned. Um, and it, okay. During the day, it's fine at that dumpster, but it seems like at night, it doesn't want to go around it. Um, all right, that's my fault. Um, I was trying to reach for that, and I disengaged it. So again, yeah, the speed limit is technically 25, but I would never drive more than 20 right here.
All right. It's creeping. Um, the creep line was a little bit far forward. And um, I'm disengaging there only because it doesn't need to fly over that hill in the center of the road. And it also doesn't need to go this fast. Um, it's trying to shoot me back up to 33. And it won't slow down quickly enough with the scroll wheel. So I just went ahead and hit the brakes. I'm at the end of my route. So um, yeah, th there were some things that it did really well. And then some things that just haven't been improved yet um, that I'd really, really like to see improved soon. Uh, but there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.